Good evening, brethren. Good evening. Uh, this evening I'd like to examine Luke 10, verse 7, which says, And in the house and the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. Now, I realize that the whole of this passage of uh, verses 2 through 16 is in regards to Jesus sending out the 70 in groups of two, saying the harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. I want us to examine this passage in a view of partaking of good things. Now, this first part of this verse says, In the same house remain, eating and drinking such, such things as they give. And the very last phrase says, Go not from house to house. Now, the preceding this verse in, in verse 6 uh, there's a little phrase that says, if the son of peace be there. Mm -hmm. So we're not condoning staying in a place that is of ill report. Uh -huh. For, if, for uh, uh, yeah. So we're not condoning staying in a place of ill report, eating and drinking such things as they give. We are to prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Amen. And with that said, we, cannot re we are encouraged to remain in the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We know that we cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the tables of the devils. Jumping back and forth from these things is very detrimental to our spiritual appetite. Amen. Now, this is also a preparation. In Acts 10, Peter is shown the vessel with all sorts of animals, and the Lord tells him to rise, kill, and eat. And upon Peter's response saying, uh, no, Not so, Lord, for I have not eaten anything that is common or unclean. The Lord replies with, What God hath cleansed, that call not thou unclean. If we are in the house of the Lord and eating at his table, and if God has given us something good, which he has, we cannot call this thing unclean. Yes, now, we realize that there are things that are said and being taught that are wrong or that are, that are of no value. But, that's not, but, but being at a specific location as at the table of the Lord in his house it makes us able to partake of these things much more adequately. Now, the middle part of this verse says, uh, For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Now, throughout Scripture, we can see this record of individuals being worthy of their hire. We have Noah, who, is, uh, who had found grace. We have Abraham, who had been credited to righteousness. We have Moses. We have Job. We have Joseph, David, the other, the other prophets of the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we see Paul, the apostles, and many others. Now, all these people had labored intensively and extensively for God, and they were counted worthy to do this work. Now, it would not make sense for God to call someone to do work for him that either the individual was either unsuited or whether uh, that, that work was something that was antithetical or opposite to what God had, had purposed. I'm not liking this into a circumstance like Pharaoh, who had been risen up for such a purpose, but we're talking about things like the Tower of Babel, like Brother Gibbon had opened up to us this past Friday, where it was something that had to be stopped. It was something that required a divine intervention. Now, we are ministers whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. God gave the increase, which is in 1 Corinthians 3. This emphasis on God gave the increase is vital in our labor, lest any man should boast. Mm -hmm. If the labor has a divine value, the labor is given worth. Now, whether the labor started in the third hour or in the ninth hour, the labor had a value. In preparation for this evening, I'd like to encourage us to labor in things that have value to the Lord whether it be one who is speaking from this particular spot, whether it be a listener here or someone or one who is listening to the audio or videos, or whether it be one who is sharing a comment, let it be something that the Lord deems to have value. I'd also like to encourage us to remain in the house of the Lord at all times, to not travel from house to house, that we would continue to eat and drink the good things that are before us as to bring glory and honor to God. Amen. All right. I'll have a prayer.